They felt like that was a crutch, something that he could just think about. They have taken that off, and they want him to play the two. Here's Cartwright out of that triangle offense. Jordan from 19. Uh-oh. Well, maybe that answer. Try to force him to give it up. 4-0 Chicago. Two minutes gone in the first quarter. Jordan with the drive on Sanders. Nance got there too late to help out. Sanders is not going to be able to defense Jordan one-on-one. -on -one. Wonderful playoff run to get started here in 1993. Cleveland on a 19-6 run. They needed 21-16. Jordan puts a stop to that, as he has done yeah. so many times. Will Purdue took a seat on the bench. Their offensive player takes uh, straight to the hoop. Man. 12 minutes, and I think it goes back to that problem you talked about. He's having trouble with his knee, and, and he just was not moving as well in game three. Jordan back again. There's the double team. Very good. Oh, well, top of seconds to shoot for Paxson. Jordan against Wilkins, the lean in. He's fouled, and he will run. Well, he sat back as long as he could and waited and waited and waited to see if his other guys were going to get it going. As I say, he has the ability to take over, and he'll have spurts where he might score 15 points in a row for Chicago, and this is one of those spurts as he's been able to take over this game. Cavs by two, Jordan can cut it to one. Jordan is hit. I don't know that there's anyone in the league that can respond as quickly as Michael can, and he'll take he'll take this off right onto the hole, I would imagine. Pass Nance. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and you could really tell the difference late in the ball game when Michael would get it get it going. Uh, Elo would become fatigued, as you can imagine, chasing Michael around. He does not have to play Michael nearly as many minutes now with Gerald Wilkins on this team. I did that game a couple of years ago in Cleveland. Well, he twisted that ankle in Atlanta in game three of that playoff series. Yeah. Well, what the uh, folks at the Omni. This is the scoop shot, rebound Bill Cartwright. Cartwright played the first quarter, set out most of the second with two fouls. Stacy King came in and played well off the bench for him. Bill Cartwright gets another rebound. Cartwright has five now. Jordan from long range. Oh my. 23 for Michael. We get back, but you want to try to get back guarding your guy. And for Cleveland so far, they haven't been able to do that. Nice block. Cartwright to Jordan. That's the time. The first time Wilkins has allowed Michael to just step around and very easy that time from Chicago not allow them to get out on the break and get the easy baskets they took that away kept the score down Michael Jordan. they've been platooning those guys trying to keep fresh legs on Michael as much as possible takes him right back oh, fresh legs. Oh. from high above the basket Michael just dropped it in oh, like man. pebbles into a well my goodness Cleveland, the best free throw shooting team in the NBA. Tonight, they are 11 of 14. They're ecstatic. They're ecstatic. They're ecstatic. And they're ecstatic. They're ecstatic. They're ecstatic. now because he has some confidence offensively. Slippery floor. Pippen goes down. Seven seconds to shoot. Pippen against Grant. Gerald Wilkins fell down. Three seconds. Jordan. Oh, my. Seven-point Bulls lead. And struggling in this game. He had nine points in the first half. Six here in the second period. Excuse me, the second half. 6.37 to go. The Bulls have held the Cavaliers for only 68 points. Now lead it by eight. Michael Jordan. Seven rebounds for Scott Williams in this game. Jordan's quick turnaround. Uh, Jordan over two players. <laughs> and it's just one game. Michael has 40. That's 50%, right at 50%. 40 of the 82 Bulls.
those points have come from the hand of Michael Jordan. Look at the difference. The Cavs really struggling to, to reverse. The Bulls struggled all year long. Three times in his playoff career, Michael Jordan has scored 50-plus against this team. He has 42 points here tonight. 10 of 10 from the free throw line. I doubt he's going to break 50 in this game. When Mark Price sat down, by the way, you know, Mark had a, a good first half of this game. Despite Michael Jordan's show that he put on here tonight, the real story of this game has been the incredible Bulls defense. They have held the Cavaliers below 20 points in both the third and fourth quarter of this game. 16 in the third quarter and 19 in the fourth quarter. And the Bulls get a 91-84 lead. Michael Jordan gets 43 points. Is going to join us table side here. Maybe we can chat with him a little bit about the matchup he had with Gerald Wilkins as we make way for Michael to come over and have a seat. Michael, I'll let you get on this headset. You're getting used to this. The question, obviously, we want to talk to you about is your uh, your uh, contest with Gerald Wilkins out there. I know he wasn't the only guy playing you. How about that? Are you on there? <laughs> well, you know, um, Gerald's a great defensive player. And uh, he's a competitor. And he came into the series knowing that he was brought to Cleveland for one reason. That was try to stop me and contain me as much as possible, which I respect him in that manner. But it's a challenge to me as well. So I look at it as a challenge. Uh, the Jordan stopped ahead a tough time tonight. Uh, he's going to be ready to come back the next uh, next game, but so am I. Now, if you're, this is a, this is kind of a curveball question. If you're Cleveland, what do you do to adjust with you guys? Well, you know, Cleveland's got to look at it. They were a little tired. Yeah, they're coming off a five-game series. I think uh, the first game is more or less an evaluation of how the team is playing, and then the, the second game is the biggest key because you got to make adjustments. And uh, Cleveland is a team that knows how to make adjustments. They're very, very smart. So, uh, you know, we didn't play extremely well tonight, but, you know, we've been off for seven days, and this is a good win for us. Well, I thought with, um, with the fact that Cleveland held you to five points below your average over the season, over the regular season, that gave them encouragement. That's one reason I think Gerald Wilkins made that statement, but as is normally the case, you raised your play once again. Well, this is the playoffs, and as a leader, you have to step in and cover the, the loopholes, and uh, offensively, I had... I had to carry that load for a while, so uh, you know, I did my best. Ankles have been a, a problem. You had one in Chicago, Pippen, uh, Atlanta, Pippen's had his. How about Horace Grant? What's the story on him right now? Hopefully Horace is going to come back. Uh, he's, he's having a tough time with his ankles right now, but you know, he's going to be a big, tough player for us. He'll be back. Now, Mike, you talk about adjustments. What do you anticipate Cleveland making? And then in your team's game, what adjustments do you well, have Well, I think to make? Price is going to be implemented into play a little bit. Uh, Doherty uh, certainly going to try to defensively try to control me as much as possible. Good game, Michael. Michael Jordan with 43 points here tonight as the Chicago Bulls get the first round, the second round, first game win, 91-84 over the Cleveland Cavaliers and lead the series 1-0.